today is go day. We're separating forces and is that the right way to say it? Separating forces? Conquering, dividing. That's what I'm trying to say. I just sent Bo off to go and check us out of Curacao because late last night we saw a south southeast wind heading our way. And that means we will have a nice one point to the USVIs if we are to leave in the time window. So it is crunch time. I'm going to do a lot of cooking today. I've already done the provisioning. I've got eggs boiling. I'm going to make some chaffles. <sighs> oh, I wish you guys could smell them. They smell so good. You've got to try these. If you have a waffle maker at home, cheese and egg, so simple. So a half a cup of cheese to one egg and you've got a chaffle. I'm going to make some lemon papa seed muffins. Oh, this is for you. Hello. Ooh, what you baking me? <laughs> Smell them. Mmm, oh. lemon. Lemon poppy. Ooh. We're all checked out. Hey, Benji. Somebody's excited. Hi, buddy. They look good and they smell good. They smell really good. Benji wanted some. I just, I can't get over the fact that this is off grid. Everything we do, everything from these solar panels, it's just the craziest thing ever. Completely off grid. I love it. Now we just need a little farm with some chickens. Mm. Benji might eat them. <laughs> All right. If that's the last I've got, I just have to put the salads together. I'm gonna make some Caesar salads, but first I've gotta get the chicken in the Instapot, throw some water on it and cook it, and then I'm gonna shred it up, and then I'm gonna make a Caesar salad out of that. This is Brandy. She's tired of chopping up veggies, squishing tomatoes, and crying over chopped onions. I'm struggling. What's that? A knock at the door? She has just been given this heavy duty, beautiful ash wood box. And this may just be the answers to her dull knife woes. Inside, she finds a set of Kamikoto's Japanese steel knives that use traditional techniques from Japan and use only the best steel sourced from Japanese mills. Ooh, these make me feel like a real chef. Well, that's probably because Kamikoto knives are used by some of the top Michelin star chefs around the world. Never gonna need these dull things again. What Brandy doesn't know is each knife is individually inspected and Kamikoto is so confident about their knives that each knife comes with a lifetime guarantee. She will never need another knife again. Seriously, you guys, these are the best knives that we've ever had. The sharpest, and Bo can contest to it, but you'll have to watch the poopers. If you invite us over to dinner, don't be offended if we bring our own knives, but you can also get a set of your own. Kamakoto is actually running a special right now, and if you want 50 extra dollars off, you can go on the link in the description or to kamakoto.com forward slash Bo and Brandy. Now, back to making this salad. So not too long ago, we started making our own Caesar salad dressing. So it starts off with mayonnaise, egg and oil, anchovy paste. We've used anchovies as well. So if you can't find the paste, you can use an anchovy. Parmesan cheese, a little Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. All right, and then mustard. We usually use Dijon, but we only have brown spicy right now. <laughs> Now to make the salad. I think I'm done. So we have cheese and meats that we've cut up and other little things. But as long as we have the basics that we can just grab and go, we'll be good. Now to pack the cooler. Pack the cooler. We got to get ice for the cooler and just finish picking up the house. Yep.
Finally, we're leaving Curacao. It's always an adventure. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, better to have wind than not, right? Yeah. Sail. Right, yep. Double reef will be fine. Double reef and go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> We are leaving in some crappy weather. It is like squalls out of everywhere. We're doing it on purpose because we know that if we leave any later, we're gonna have, we're gonna lose a lot of the southeast wind that we really want. Once we get out of here and we see that it doesn't look great, then we'll turn back around and head into Fook. Wow. Oh, I feel the chill. Yeah. Just got the cold chill. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't raise the main yet. Put two reefs in before we even got started, not knowing what it's like out here. But the winds kind of died out a little bit. A lot of squalls ran through. It's kind of raining right now, but we're barely going anywhere, so we're gonna shake our reef out. I hope this doesn't foreshadow the entire trip. That would suck. You need to rinse off? Yeah, yeah. Rinse the boat salty. It looks like it's been a very slow start to this trip. Uh, Windy, which is one of the apps that we use, said it was going to be like 17, 27 gusting, and right now it seems like there's nothing. And going around the southeast corner of Curacao, it's very, very, a lot of current through here, and yeah, so we're fighting that. And it just started raining, and well, just finished raining. Actually, it sounds like it's raining again. <laughs> All these storms are sucking away our wind, so. Right now, I don't feel that great. Um, I was putting out some messages to our patron and our family, and yeah, texting and sailing inside is not great. But I'm gonna try to, me and Benji are gonna try to get some shut eye. Right, Ben? Bye, Benji. Oh my gosh. Well, this just happened. Our cooler fell out of its hole and all onto our bed. And then it rolled open. Rolled open, salads went everywhere, salad dressing went everywhere. Just want to show you guys what's going on. Can you please help me? Just made some cream cheese and truffles. The sea state has finally calmed down a bit. And for the first time since we've started sailing, I threw up. I got super seasick. If you guys heard, I started out not pretty feeling pretty good. And then the sea state got really rough. It started raining. I had to close up. I was dealing with Benji and If you're ever curious about what happens at night while doing passages, this is it. Sleeping and trying to survive. <laughs> Just spent the past 12 hours getting the shit kicked out of me. That was some tough sailing. Not only that, all the other crap that happened. Just glad my shift's over tired. 
wet, cold, hungry, and my nipple hurts. <laughs> my vest was just rubbing it raw. Oh, get to do it again tomorrow. Nighty night. It's my turn on the night watch, and finally the seas calmed down enough so Bo could actually go back inside and lay down and try to nap. I was feeling so bad. Um, my nausea turned into seasickness and my seasickness led me to throwing up in the sink. <laughs> but it has been a day. Um, right now it just shows the complete contrast between the seas and the wind between Bo going seven to eight knots while he was sailing with the wind and the waves were just so rough and they were hitting us from every which direction to now where I'm able to use the autopilot we're going 1.8 and the seas are pretty steadily just rolly. I can smell some rain um, and it's getting a little bit cooler so that's kind of a little trait that we picked up that once you kind of get like a cool breeze and if you are not reefed, you probably should, but it tends to kind of bring rain and a little bit more wind. We are actually making a better track right now because we are heading more east than just northeast and not beating into it. So we're able to get a little bit more of an angle. So when we don't have this southeast-ish wind, we'll be able to fall off a bit. So we're trying to point farther off of the line straight to St. Thomas. So we're kind of going, instead of going this way, we're going this way. So when, if, and when we do lose wind, we can kind of use that advantage to go more fall off, they say, with the wind. So right now it's comfortable, it's nice, but I'm glad I feel a little bit better. I still feel a tiny bit nauseous. So I was trying to drink water and not all the coffee. Um, but we got a little bit of a silver moon helping us with the waves, see the waves now that it's out and not hiding behind a cloud. But inside the house is absolutely stopping wet. Everything's wet. <laughs> but nothing's broken, nothing's ripped, nothing's hurt. So it's a good night. It just started out to be pretty crummy. So now it can be all up from here. <laughs> Man, I'm chipper for having already thrown up tonight. <laughs> How's it been? Fine. Just tired. Not as bad as yesterday. Oh, you got the line out. Yeah. No bites. You ready to take over? I feel really nauseous still. Does that help being up here? I'll try. Just gotta come up too. Don't know if you can hear that high-pitched squealing, but that's dolphins. That's cool. Ah! Oh my 
the coolest! I wonder what kind they are. And then the little ones came, and it's almost like they scared them away, but you could hear those big ones so loud. But I think you got inside sound? Yeah, I tried to get the sound. I don't know if they can hear it. I not. mean, hopefully you guys can hear it off the GoPro, but it's so windy, you probably won't, but... So cool! And I was just thinking, oh man, it would be really cool to see a dolphin. That was awesome. They always make my day, but yeah, no fish are going to be caught now. <laughs> a pretty uneventful day I've just been hanging out watching the waves roll by getting splashed occasionally while Brandy slept the one eventful thing was grabbing a grip file we're using a new app called lucky grip it's like 50 bucks one-time fee so before we were using Predict Wind and it was more subscription based and it was pretty expensive. But this Lucky Grib is it's working out pretty well. It's pretty similar to um, Predict Wind. But we use our Iridium Go to connect to the satellite to get internet and then we download the grib file. And we're also using what's it called? Roam app? this new roam app for a tracking device so we can send our patrons and family and friends just a track of where we're at what's that noise hon love can you put the motor in neutral Neutral! I don't know if she can hear me. The motor's going because it's in drive, it's in forward. I don't think she heard me. <laughs> neutral! Put it in neutral. Please. Got the weather downloaded and everything looks pretty good. Uh, we shouldn't have rain. Maybe we'll have rain in the next two days when we're closer to the USVIs. But outside of that, it looks clear. About 15 knots. Only gusting a couple 
extra, maybe up to 17. But we are cruising. We're averaging about six knots, and at this rate, we should be there in a couple days. So that's good. We were expecting to have the tack a lot more. I thought we were gonna have uh, lighter winds and more east winds but we've been having southeast winds, which has been real nice. Benji's been good. He's just been sleeping away. Princess in the pee right now. We got a little diaper on him, just in case. But I'm gonna get a little more sleep. Can always use more sleep. how sharp these are. Oof. Oof. Really, really, really sharp. You can't show blood. Don't show uh, blood. Like, the worst. It cut so clean. It went right to the meat. Is it really bad? I mean, it's a clean cut. <laughs> I don't want to show you. It's all bloody. It's still bloody? Yeah. <laughs> he was taking the knife and making this look nice. Ow. Be very careful with sharp knives. <laughs> We've never had sharp knives. Not this sharp. <laughs> Hold on. Tongue out? You recording? Mm-hmm. Um, egg. Ha 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 ha!